Yeah, young George Smith. I can't believe he's actually going to retire. I've been calling, calling him Wolverine for the last few years. He's been like just unbreakable. But my first memory of Georgie Smith goes back to 1999 when he came down with the young Adam Fryer as uh, a young 18-year-old. Uh, and they, I think it was the first time living away from home. <laughs> I think they knew how to like what a pot and pan was, how to scramble or boil an egg, uh, let alone get to training on time. So there's some funny stories, seeing this dreadlock young man with his mate Adam Fryer um, make their way into professional rugby. And they, they, they both went on to become great wallabies, but Georgie Smith, well he's just an iconic number seven, isn't he? Yeah, George Smith's definitely on that list of some of the greatest players I've played with and against. I only played against him once, that was enough. I played for the Bar Bars, it was quite funny seeing Georgie Smith on the other side because I just played with him from the time he was 18, 19 to my last test, which was 2007. And yeah, he, he's that sort of a player where you just, you just expected him to play probably at a level which was probably 8 to 9 out of 10 every week. You know, only great players do that. Like you're talking to people like Richie, John Eels, you could talk, throw Dan Carter in there, you could throw Tim Moore and those likes. So they're the sort of players who just played at this level. And then obviously, the bigger the game, the bigger he played. So he's, he's one of the great players, that's for sure. I think my favourite memory, and I wasn't even playing then, but uh, I, was, I think it was about 2000 uh, when he was playing for the Brumbies and game against the Crusaders, he came on, I, I don't know, maybe he was 18 or something like that and, and scored a pretty crucial try late in the game. And, I was still at school then, so uh, to think that I had a 15, 16 year career and, and here he is still playing, it's remarkable. He was a type of player that when you looked across the change rooms and, and, and saw him getting ready, you knew you were playing with someone special, you know, you knew he was going to do his job and, and play a really good game. He always played at that you know, 8 and 9 out of 10, he was never below that and, and that kind of consistency is what I think is the hallmark of, of his greatness. You know, when I was a junior, he was my favourite player. He was uh, someone that um, I grew up and loved to watch play. I think just his, his involvement in all facets of the game was something I really enjoyed. Um, I, from there, I, I had the opportunity to go and um, you know, sort of be mentored under him down in Canberra um, to then play with, play with George and um, play against George. So it was uh, all of those I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed and, and learned a heap from and um, yeah.